Hi, my name is Yan Liang, an application engineer in linear technology. I would like to help you explore the three options for your step-down point-of-load regulator solution. Switching controllers, monolithic regulators, and micromodule regulators. I have in my hand an example of a densely populated customer board. Notice a significant amount of PCB area is consumed by the point-of-load regulators, making them a seemingly easy target to reallocate PCB area. As the PCB area that previously supported the point-of-load regulators is reallocated to mount more memory, processors, data ports, and so on to increase product performance, power consumption, and the number of voltage that the onboard point-of-load regulator must support has increased. This situation forces the point-of-load regulators into a position where they must deliver more output power across more output voltage rails in less PCB area, yet better dissipate heat. How could an engineer solve this paradox? For purposes of comparison, we'll evaluate the point-of-load regulation options for an application that needs three regulated outputs that could support, for example, core, I.O., and memory interface power requirements. Requiring external power switches, an inductor for each output, and external compensation, a switching controller solution demands the highest number of external components. Engineering MAM hours and PCB area of the three solutions. Even though the external FETs and inductor can be optimized to deliver higher efficiency and output current, thermal management remains a big design concern. Monolithic regulators with an integrated controller and power switches are in the middle of the three options in terms of component count and design effort. The PCB area required is lower than a switching controller solution. The output current rating is lower relative to the other two solutions, often limited by the ability of the IC package to dissipate power losses from the internal switches. Such thermal limitations must carefully considered in the design phase. Incorporating the controller, power switches, inductor, compensation, and a modest amount of decoupling capacitance, micromodule regulators require the fewest external components. As a result, they require the lowest design effort and PCB area compared to both switching controllers and monolithic regulators. Despite the small solution size, thermal dissipation headaches are already alleviated by innovative package designs that include an integrated heat sink in some cases. Let's use the new triple output LTM4633 and LTM4634 micromodule regulators as examples. The LTM4633 and LTM4634 are triple output step-down micromodule regulators in a 15 times 15 times 5.01 millimeter BGA package with integrated heat sink. Each of the LTM4633's three outputs delivers up to 10 amp at a regulated voltage between 0.8 volt and 1.8 volt for outputs 1 and 2, and from 0.8 volt to 5.5 volt for output 3 from an input voltage between 4.7 volt and 16 volt. Combined, the LTM4633's three outputs can deliver up to 54 watts of output power at 1.8 volt in a 65 degree C ambient environment with 200 LFM airflow on a 4.5 cm square dual sided PCB. This performance is possible due to the integrated topside heat sink, which creates a low thermal resistance path for heat to transfer into the ambient air. The LTM4634 is pin compatible with LTM4633, 
It offers an expanded input and output voltage range and uh, shares the same integrated heatsink package design. The maximum input voltage increases to 28 volt, supporting operation from 24 volt rails. The maximum output voltage increases to 5.5 volt on outputs 1 and 2 to meet analog and mixed signal supply voltages or create intermediate bus voltages. The maximum output voltage on output 3 rises to 13.5 volts to support a 12 volt intermediate bus. Although the LTM4634's maximum output currents are lower than the LTM4633 at 5 amp, 5 amp, and 4 amp respectively, the LTM4634 delivers up to 70 volt at 5 volt nominal on all outputs combined from a 24 volt input. Under these operating conditions, the highest case temperature of LTM4634 is 77 degrees C, which is 57 degrees C above an ambient temperature of 20 degrees C with 200 LFM airflow on the same 4.5 cm square dual sided PCB footprint. The next time you find yourself struggling to reduce PCB area in order to keep your next generation product competitive, look at micromodule regulators like the LTM4633 and LTM4634. Visit us at linear.com. Thanks for watching.